All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, which are the true names of the Heavenly Father and of His Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, who is a so called black man. And I want to say peace and blessings to all the Akim out there that's pushing his truth and sincerity, and all the elders out there who labor in the truth who taught us the truth. All right, um, I'm, I'm just addressing the comment board. It says, Your 400 year prophecy has proven false. Has proven false. <laughs> Dumb Edomite can't even type. Why can't you just accept that black skin is a mark of God's disfavor? And, you know, this Edomite, go on this page here. Um, I'm going to assume this is him. Okay, Norman Brendan Coulson, right? It says, um, Jesus' head was white, Revelation. Uh, it says his hair. His feet were like bronze or brass because they glowed, not because they were, they were its color. All right, so... First off, he he says the 400 year prophecy, which we don't believe we here at the Sakari, we don't believe in a 400 year prophecy. You, you have the wrong camp. OK. You have the wrong camp, buddy. Because. <clears throat> let's see. So. Uh, first. Hold on, because it's a misconception about Portuguese. It's a misconception about this 400 years um, prophecy. But we here in the Sakar don't believe don't we don't uh we, we don't believe in a 400 year prophecy we don't believe in 1619 to um to um 2019 okay now i said i don't believe in 400 year prophecy try again she said of course now you don't since it since it has failed sakari has never we have never um believed in that if you if you if you watch sakari if you know us we never taught or we never believed in the 400 year prophecy. We know that that prophecy was wasn't real. We knew that it was fake. Okay. So it says Portugal started the European slave trade with with Africa about 1444. Okay, so that's when so that's when the slave trade the uh, slave trade began, right? So 2019. Take away. That's five hundred seventy. That's five hundred seventy-five years. Then you got to factor in the Northern Kingdom. So what? Fourteen twenty-nine. That's five hundred ninety years right there. Okay, so we we don't believe in no four hundred year prophecy because the Bible doesn't uh says it. Let's go to the Bible. We have never believed in a 400 year prophecy. So that so that guy is stupid. Yahweh says no man know the day or hour. Don't know the year. Nothing. This is uh, Genesis 15 and um, 13. It says, and he said unto Abram, know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs and shall serve them. And they shall afflict them 400 years. OK, this is not talking about America. This is talking about ancient Egypt. OK, this is talking about ancient Egypt. Not America. Just prove that it couldn't be America. Why? Because um, from 1444 to, 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 to 2019, that was um, that was 575 years. Okay, 575 years. And also, the Northern Kingdom, there are people too, right? That's five hundred ninety years, okay. So that can't so that can't be America. And this is also and also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and the Lord did judge Egypt by the plagues that He sent to it, and afterwards shall they come out with great substance. Now, when you read Exodus, the twelfth chapter, when we spoiled the Egyptians, we came out of there with great substance. This is uh, Exodus 12 and 33. It says, And the Egyptians were urgent upon the people that they might send them out of the, la the land in haste. 
For they said, we be all dead men. And the people took their dough before it was leavened, their need and thrust being bound up in their clothes upon their shoulders. And the, and the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And, the, and Yahweh gave the people favor in the, sight, in the sight of the Egyptians. So they lent unto them such things as they required. And they spoiled the Egyptians. So that happened in Egypt. We don't believe in a 400 year prophecy. And we never did. Okay, we never did. You know, Jake and some you know, brothers in the truth believe that. But us, we never believed in a 400 year prophecy. All right. Now, it says, why can't you accept that black skin is a mark of God's disfavor? Really now. <sighs> no. Let's go to Numbers 12 chapter. See, I mean, you so-called white people are proud as hell. Pri prideful as hell. This Obadiah verse um, 3. It says, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. So, you Edomites, pride has deceived you. And we all know that a man's downfall is his pride. Let's get that. It's in, it's in the book of Sirach. I don't want that, but that's a good one too. Yeah, I'll, re I'll read Proverbs 16 and 18. This Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. It says, pride goeth, goeth before destruction and then haughty spirit before fall. So because Esau, the so-called white man, is about to be taken out of power, he's prideful. But pride goeth before destruction. Go to the book of Job. Um, Job, Job 40 and verse 11, it says, Cast abroad the rage of thy wrath, and behold everyone that is proud and abase him. So you so-called white people, uh, white people are about to be abased. And you're already getting abased. When we go, when we go out and teach, it ain't, it ain't not one smile on you so-called white people's face. You devils are finished. But of course these devils got to uh, act like they're not. They're prideful as hell. It says, look on everyone that is proud and bring him low and tread down the wicked in their place. And that's what the Lord is going to do. The Lord is looking on everyone that is proud and is going to bring you and he's going to bring you low. You so-called white people are, are already low. Your uh, economy is finished over twenty three trillion dollars in debt. Vladimir Putin, he's ready to shoot missiles on America. Hey, Donald Trump just got back in power. Well, well, not just got back in power. He's still he's still in the White House. He didn't get um impeached. So it's nothing but gloom and doom for this place. So these so-called white people have to resort to this. But let's get numbers the twelfth chapter because the man said that having um black skin is a curse. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And there's numbers twelve, and I'm gonna start verse uh seven. It says, my, it says, matter of fact, verse six, I'm just going to go to four. It says, and the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and to Aaron and unto Miriam, come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out and the Howard came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and caught Aaron, Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth and he said, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him in a vision. It will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of Yahweh shall he, he behold. Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of Yahweh was kindled against them. And he departed, and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. So it says that Miriam was uh, uh, white as snow, right? Became leprous, white as snow. So she became white as snow. 
if Miriam, if she if she became white as snow, if she was leprous, white as snow, what color was she before then? That's the question. Look at this. As the clouds moved away from the tent, Miriam's skin suddenly became diseased, resembling snow. So having a skin resembling snow white, that's a disease. So this guy's talking about ex just accept that black skin is mark of God's disfavor. Man, you so-called white people are proud as hell, man. Proud as hell. And guess what? Yahweh said he would not acquit the wicked, man. Yeah, man, these devils are so proud. They they are so proud. Their pride literally goes through the clouds, man. That's how prideful they are. They think that they're the best on earth. You so-called white people are not the best on earth. We are so-called black, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indian. We are the best people on earth. Look at the NIV. When the cloud lifted from above the tent, Mary's skin was leprous. It became as white as snow. Aaron turned toward her and saw that she had a defiling skin disease. And OT, as the cloud moved from above the tabernacle, there stood Miriam, her skin as white as snow from leprosy. When Aaron saw what happened to her, okay. But yeah, it says that her skin was, um, her skin was, uh, uh, diseased. Let's keep going. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead. Of whom the flesh is half consumed when he comes out of his mother's womb. You see, let her not be as one as dead. Oh, she looks dead. That white skin make her look dead. And that's true. When you look at these so-called white people, they be looking dead, man. Especially the old ones. These old crackers, they be looking so finished and through. Look like they would drop dead any second. So that guy is just prideful. Talking about black skin is uh uh it's a um, it's a um disfavor. <laughs> You're right, but so-called blacks can survive in um. We can uh survive in the um, in the sun, can y'all? No, y'all can't. Hold on, Salakio. Try and get this in the law. Leviticus 13. I'm trying to see where I want. Because having leprosy, that's a curse. What was that I just read? Second Kings. All right, Second Kings five. And verse twenty seven says, It says, The leprosy therefore of Naaman shall cleave unto thee and unto thy seed forever. And he went out from his presence, a leper as white as snow. Now, according to the law, what shall happen to a leper? When there uh what shall happen to a leper? Somebody that turns leper. Leviticus thirteen to one says, and Yahweh speaking to Moses and Aaron saying, when a man shall have in the skin of his a flesh arising a scab or bright spot or a bright spot and it and it be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, 
Then shall he be brought into Aaron the priest, or into one of the, or to one of his sons the priest. And the priest shall look on the plague of in the skin of the flesh, and when the hair in in the plague is turned white, and the plague in sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy. And the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. You're unclean. If the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, and in sight be not deeper than the skin, and the hair thereof be not turned white, then the priest shall shut up him that have the plague seven days. And you got to be shut up, man. You got to be put away from the camp. So that looked like leprosy is a disfavor to, uh, uh, to God. Having white skin is a, a disfavor to God. White people can't even survive in the skin. In the sun. So. So called white people are finished. So the man. Uh, tried to go to Lamentations 4. Alright so this is Lamentations 4. All right, I'm going to start at verse 4. It says, The tongue of the suckling child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. Okay, for thirst, right? The young children ask bread, and no man breaketh, breaketh it unto them. So, contextually, what is it dealing with? Famine. Okay, the Israelites were going through famine. No food, as we read here. All right? See, infants beg for food, but no one gives them any. Okay, this is talking about famine, right? It says, they that did feed delicately are, are desolate in the street. They that were brought up in scarlet embraced dung hills, right? That's so-called blacks and Hispanics today. Embracing the hood, a dung hill. It says, for the punishment of the iniquity... Of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment and no hand stayed on her. Her Nazarites were purer, were purer than snow, right? So it says her Nazarites were purer than snow. When you when 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 somebody calls you pure, what does that mean? You know, you know, you're innocent without blemish. Right. It's, uh, Harris says to be clean. You see? Physically, physically or morally made clean. Doesn't Proverbs says the righteous more excellent th than his neighbor? It says they were wider than milk. They were wider than milk. It's going, it's, it's going into health, okay? Healthy skin. They were more ruddy in body than rubies. Their, their polishing was of sapphire. Now, look at this. Matter of fact, let me go to the GNT. Let's see. Our princes were undefiled and pure, and pure as snow, vigorous and, and strong, glowing with health. Okay, talking about healthy skin. Because when you read contextually, what was they going through? A famine. And when so-called, uh, let's keep reading. Now they lie, lie unknown in the streets. Their face is blackened in death. In death. Their face is blackened in death. Their skin, dry as wood, has shriveled on their bones. Those who died in the war were better off than those who died later. Who starved slowly to death with no food to keep them alive. So when you, when you see, when you see, when you see uh, dark-skinned nations, you know what? Starving Africans. When you when you look at when you look at starving Africans, look at that. See how see how their skin is? Just like how the Bible uh uh predicted the Israelites. Or um, describe the Israelites as. This is what. 
It says their skin cleaver through their bones. It is withered. It has become like a stick. See, look how dark. Look how dark he is, man. It is known for a fact that so-called dark nations, when they when, when they're going through a famine, when, when they're going through hunger, they're homeless out in the street, they get darker. White people don't. White people don't get darker. Look at that. Look at him. Look at that. So this Edomite don't know what the hell he's talking about. Now it says, um, Jesus' head was white. Revelation. Well, let's go to it. Revelation 1 and 14. It clearly says his head and his hairs were white like wool. The hair on his head is white and woolly. See, the hairs of his head, the ESV, the hairs of... Of his head were white, like white wool. Let's read that again. The hairs of his head. So the hair that is on Yahweh's head were white. Simple. And that's the ESV. Vocab love the ESV. NIV, the hair on his head was white like wool. Okay. Now it says, now he says, so he's cut on that. So the man said, his feet were like bronze or brass because they glowed not because they were, be, because they glowed. What the devil can't type? His feet were like bronze or brass because they glowed not. They they glowed not because they were its its color. So this devil, have you ever heard of us? Have, have you ever heard of a semicolon or a period or or a comma? So, where the hell does it say that in the text? The man is just asserting, asserting stuff. But that's fine. It doesn't say that. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now, when you go into Greek, it actually says copper. Let's go into the Greek. Copper. Look at that. Of copper. An alloy of copper. We all know what color copper is. So the Bible says that the Lord is darker than this. <laughs> the Bible says the Lord is darker than that. So, I mean, keep on being mad. And we don't even got to go to that. Revelation, the second chapter. Let's see, what do I want in Revelation, the second chapter? Should be Revelation the second chapter. She mm. sardine. All right, Revelation four and verse two. It says, "And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne, and he that sat was." To look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne and in sight like unto an emerald. So it says that he that sat on the throne was like unto a jasper and a sardine stone. Now, Christians think God is Jesus, Jesus, God, they're the same people, the same being, whatever, right? So it is talking about either or. So let's see. Sardine stone. Look at this. Look at that. So Jesus, so was Jesus a so-called white man? No. 
Look at that. Look at that. The earliest images of Jesus Christ. Look at that. We can go to the Russian icons. So why does books like this cost $462 uh, um, predicts the uh, uh, the figures in the Bible as dark people? Look at that. The Russian icons. So the Russians even knew that he was so-called black. Why? Because we were the Russians. I'm going to have to do a video on this. Look at that. When we ruled the dark ages. That's going to be the next lesson, Lord willing. Yahweh or Ratzaza. Hey, but Lord willing, three brothers, few sisters, ratify. So the white people are through. With that being said, so long.